Hi y'all and welcome back to my channel. I'm glad to be back with you as I uh, said earlier in the community, you know, tab over there, I've been sick and so I'm getting better. I'm a lot better than I was. Uh, still having some bouts of coughing. Uh, it's just bronchitis and sinus infection, but it's taken a while to get over. But anyway, so those of you who are new to my channel, welcome back, or uh, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Of course, my regular subscribers, welcome back. And if you are uh, watching this for the first time, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Uh, just, uh, you know, hit that subscribe button and the bell uh, icon if you want to be notified every time I post either a video or something in the community page. And uh, let me see if there's something else I wanted to say. I can't think off the top of my head right now. Well, I guess not. So we'll go ahead and we'll get started. And if you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and to uh, share it with your social media outlets. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is, let me get this dish here. And I am going to go ahead and spray this. And I need to tell you what I'm making, don't I? I am making a no peak uh, chicken and rice dish. So it's a no peak chicken and rice. You're going to fix it, put it in the oven, and forget about it for a while. Let me set this out of my way here. All right, so in this bowl, I have one and a half cups of regular rice. Uh, I normally prefer medium grain, but I'm here at my daughter's and she has long grain, so this is long grain rice. So to this, I am going to add one can of cream of mushroom soup and one can of cream of chicken soup. So we'll go ahead and get that done. So how's everyone doing today? I hope y'all are all doing well. Of course, this is July 3rd. Tomorrow is the uh, 4th of July, uh, known as Independence Day uh, here in the United States. For those of you that are from other countries, this is, uh, tomorrow will be our independence when we declared our independence from the British from Britain, from England, from Britain, whatever. But what anyway, um, you know, and I'm grateful. I am so grateful for the forefathers that I had that came and made this great nation so we could have religious liberty. Okay, now, this is the cream of chicken soup. Remember, use your spatula so you can always get out every single bit. As I say all the time, groceries are too expensive to be leaving anything behind. We want to use every bit of it that we can, that we can get out there. All right, now to this, you want to add one soup can of water. So let me get the water. And what I'm going to do is I am going to kind of pour it back and forth a little. Then I am going to use it to scrape these out to get even more of that out. The water will, will help uh, more of it to come out there. So do any of y'all have big uh, plans for tomorrow? I think we are going to go watch some community fireworks. Uh, I know my daughter uh, bought some bratwurst, so I'm not sure if I'll be cooking them or if her husband will be cooking them, but somebody will. And of course, some hot dogs. I'm not a big bratwurst fan. Um, of course, the children would probably prefer hot dogs also. All right, so to this now, we're going to add um, this one, envelope of your onion soup mix. You know, it can be any brand. It can be store brand, it can be Lipton brand, any brand. We are going to add one envelope. And actually, I am only going to add about half. And then I will put the other half on top of our chicken. 
Okay, that looks about good. I am going to stir this in and, well, first I am going to add some pepper, just some black pepper. Just add it to taste. And let me see, I'm looking for the garlic powder. I want to add just a little bit of garlic powder. Everything's better with garlic. Now give that a good stir. Just mix it up really well. I forgot to bring my bag over here to put my trash in. So I will just set that into the sink. Make sure you get all that rice stirred in there real good. All right, I am going to take my dish and pour all of this into this nine by 13 dish. And I have the oven already preheating at 350. I meant to tell you that. And I forgot to tell you that in the beginning. Let me get me another spatula. I wasn't thinking to put that one in the sink. Let me rake all of this out. Right. Just kind of give it just a little bit of a, you know, not really a stir, but just smooth it. Just kind of smooth it out. All right, now next we're going to put our chicken on top. And here I have six chicken uh, drumsticks. You can use any chicken that you prefer. It can be any kind. any kind at all. You can put um, as many pieces as you want. You could put, you know, I'd say six to eight at the most, but let me rinse my hands, wash them off. Okay, there we go. Now I want to uh, put some pepper on top of this uh, chicken. And if you want salt, you could add salt. Uh, I don't want to add any more salt between the soups and this uh, uh, soup mix, onion soup mix that I believe there's plenty. And then just kind of sprinkle this on here the best you can on top on your chicken. All right, now let me get some aluminum foil. has a thing on the wall in there that you put your foil in, pull it out. All right, now we are just going to cover this. Cover it really good. Put those corners down as good as you can. You may have got this just a hair too short, but I think it's going to work. Now, we are going to stick this in the oven for an hour and a half. And in that hour and a half, do not look at it. Just leave it alone. Forget that it's even there. Set you a timer. And when the timer goes off, come back and take it off. And then what we'll do is we will test, make sure the rice is done, kind of cut into a piece of the chicken, make sure it's done. And if it's not finished, then we will uh, give it probably about another 15 to 20 minutes. But usually an hour and a half will get it. Um, occasionally it won't, you know, when it comes to bacon, there's so many things that it depends on. So I am going to stick this in the oven. And 
and set my timer for an hour and a half if I can figure out this timer. There we go. All right, so I'll bring you back when it is finished. If it takes longer than an hour and a half, I will let you know. Of course, you know to test the rice, just take your little piece with a spoon and eat it and make sure that, you know, it's nice and tender. You don't want it to be crunchy at all. All right, so I'll be back in a little bit, all right? Uh, uh, my goodness, keep, think, keep thinking I keep forgetting something. Who knows? With me, there's no telling. All right, y'all, the chicken and rice is finished. The no peep chicken, it only took an hour and a half. And I'll just bring it up just a little bit so you can see. And let me get a fork and show you how fluffy this rice is. I don't know if you can see this, but see how fluffy it is? It's really fluffy. Bring that a little bit closer and you can see. It's very fluffy. As you can see, the chicken is finished. It's pulled away from the bone. So we definitely know that it is finished. All right, I hope that you will give this a try. Um, and if you're going to, you know, go out and shoot fireworks or whatever, please be safe uh, tonight or tomorrow, tomorrow night. Uh, you know, there will be people on the road. <clears throat> There's always people on the road that have been drinking. So just be careful, be uh, aware of your surroundings. As, um, if you're out driving, be careful to look out for the other person. And uh, just, you know, take time to reflect. If you're an American, take time to reflect tomorrow on the great freedoms that we have here in our country. Um, our country is not perfect. Uh, there's a lot of things, especially in the last several years that have gone on but we still are the freest country that there is of all the countries out there. We still have the most freedoms. And, you know, we just need to be grateful for that. And if you've never lived in a different country, I know I've lived in a different country before, and it just made me realize how grateful I was to be an American. All right, so y'all have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful Independence Day celebration tomorrow and for those of you from other countries that are watching i'm grateful you're watching and uh and i know that you love your country and you should you know whatever our country is wherever our country is that's where our patriotism should be y'all have a wonderful evening and remember to always season your cooking with love bye bye